So hello, we are now entering the interior of the BMW i3 and uh, let's see what we can expect there. I can tell you it's a lot of new little details and technology. We also open the rear door and it's not opening in the traditional way. You have this red handle here and it opens in the reverse direction the so-called suicide door and uh, what we have to mention first is here this part this is a chassis made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic and this is the reason why the car is not so heavy it compensates the weight of the battery due to this carbon fiber uh, construction like in a Formula One car as I say the seats are very light there's no anchor point for the seat belt instead this is here in the rear door then we have this recycled material here which is pure recycled material there's no cover on it and this is sustainable sustainability is the key word of the car then we have this naturally tanned beautiful brown leather then this cloth here which is reminds me of a living room the whole car is, is like a living room it's a lounge atmosphere so we are entering the driving position of the car ah, I'm first first close the rear door otherwise I cannot close the front door that's um, necessary so everything closed now we have this freestanding column here steering column that you can um, change in the vertical position and also in the horizontal position. It's a very nice steering wheel with this uh, silver inlet here, inlay, which goes all around. Leather. Uh, two instruments. This is the one which is also freestanding and it looks a little bit like a plasma screen in your living room, a television screen beautifully done and with a very nice rear view camera look at this it has a very high resolution I don't know any other reverse camera which has a good uh, picture here in this instrument you get the basic information the most important of course the range of the car which is still left until the battery is flat and also here the range from the engine from the internal combustion engine the little two-cylinder good um, this is the probably the most distinguished piece of the whole interior this uh, eucalyptus wood two large pieces here the one, this one is also serving as the upper deck of the glove box uh, it's open pour open pores very naturally also this leather here feels very nice here and here this is a bmw sourced uh, unit the heater unit you found these switches and buttons also in BMWs the seats as I mentioned are very nice because they are very light they are not massive bulky and this fits very nice to this um, concept of uh, lightweight of the car and again here like in the doors we have this interlude between the brown leather and this very nice uh, cloth section yeah, now we are in the co-driver's position and I have to say it's a very airy feeling, very comfortable. It's, you don't feel like in a small car. I mean, the car is only four meters long, but uh, you feel like uh, in, in a more, much uh, bigger car, no cramped uh, feeling. And uh, maybe one of the very few little points that BMW can still improve is this grab here for closing the door. I think this is not ergonomically ideal it could be improved uh, again the rear door is still open though we cannot close this one um, and then have a look to this uh, very nice woolen carpet here in weather conditions like this in winter it's always getting dirty so what I would recommend from BMW is maybe they have it in their um, store some rubber mats to protect this very nice carpet from dirt and other um, particles 
in the summertime it's probably very nice to go barefoot in this car. I mean you would really do this barefoot because it's so soft and nice. By the way here is a little net for some documents. Well sitting in the rear of the BMW i3 uh, I have to admit that the space is limited. I mean even for a guy like me which is only 1 meter 70 tall the leg room and the knee room is is not very generous as you can see here it's not much left you can put your feet although I have put my shoes off now you can put them under the seat but with shoes on it will become very difficult so I mean it's a city car anyway it's not uh, designed for long distance traveling it's for driving around uh, urban areas metropolitan areas little trips to into the countryside so it's possible if um, for kids anyway but for people like me you can they can travel here but for tall people in the back it's not really comfortable the head uh, clearance is for my kind of type type of guy is still okay but again here uh, my colleague Thomas would encounter I think a few problems here so um, this is limitation it's m much better sitting in the front of this car if you want to get out of the car, you first have to open the rear door, of course. And then, if you like, you can also put the backrest of the front seat forward. But then the problem is that it comes slowly, but it comes back like this. So, this is a bit strange. We have to check what uh, should be the benefit of this one. <laughs> 